And uh, whose line is it anyway? The show which is funnier than a speech by John Major. Or if you haven't been watching America, funnier than a speech by that chap who took over from Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Starring tonight the spectacularly talented Greg Proops and co-starring the prodigiously Canadian Colin Mockery and introducing the decidedly youthful Neil Ashdown and reintroducing the unfeasibly tall Ryan Stiles. Ladies and gentlemen, the contestants. <laughs> OK. Well, let's, um... Well, I'm going to start with a favourite game of mine called Questions Only. Uh, start with Greg and Neil, if you'd like to come on down, but uh, the other two will stand ready to join in. And it's a simple game, this. All they have to do is to act out a little scene, but they must only speak in questions. And it's surprisingly easy to go wrong. If they do go wrong, I'll buzz and they'll be replaced by the person behind them to have a sort of uh, tag game. Uh, and you're in a men's changing room after a game. If you've ever been in a men's changing room, either of you, this should be easy. In Questions Only. <laughs> Thanks. We'll take it from here, homie. <laughs> oh, can I borrow your towel? Do you want to use this towel? Is that yours? Was this the one you gave me? Did I give you my towel? <laughs> to Geordie, I'm sorry. Do people laugh at that? <laughs> Would you like to shower with me again? Does mine look bigger than yours? <laughs> Do you have the special mirror? Do you have the towel? <laughs> Why do you ask? Mind if I lather you up? Uh, mind if I bend over? What's this on your shoulder? <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. Is this the men's shower? Does it look like the men's shower? Does Tom Cruise? <laughs> Okay. Never mind. Uh, how man, do you play squash? It's me again. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you speaking English? I'm sorry, are you from somewhere else? What do you mean by that? You're not from round here, are you? Don't you recognize me? Aren't you the chap who's not from round here? <laughs> how would you know? Don't you know that everybody points at you when you walk down the street and says, he's the chap who's not from round here? <laughs> People tell me these things. Don't you listen? <laughs> Why should I listen to you? I'm from Newcastle, that's why. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Excellent round. Uh, I think I'll give uh, double points to Neil there for bringing back the memory of uh, the great lost Gaza. I think he's found again now. Uh, let's do film and theatre styles. So, Greg and uh, Neil, come on down. And uh, I'm going to give you a scene in a moment. Any styles, uh, more film and theatre styles? <laughs> Poseidon Adventure. <laughs> hey, welcome to Channel 4. We're gonna... James Bond, yes. Indiana Jones. All right. Uh, that was a good one, but I didn't hear it, unfortunately. But uh, no, we're saying again. The answer is no. Okay, so let's uh, let's go for Greg. You're a tourist, and you've hired a local person. Uh, you're in the right shirt already, so that's good. Uh, you're, and you're trying to search for the Loch Ness Monster. Hey, you'll, you'll be looking for Nessie then. That makes my ears tickle. Could you say that again? Hey, I can't remember the next bit. You'll be looking for Nessie then. Yes, you won't cheek the Mickey Mouse. No, no, oh, sorry, sorry. Hit you in the hole. <laughs> I think it's funny to look for the Loch Ness Monster in Wales, don't you? <laughs> yes, because uh, it'd have to be a big whale to swallow Nessie. It certainly <laughs> would. Yeah. Uh, you, you've already doubled your points by uh, out-punning him. Uh, <laughs> Poseidon Adventure. Oh, my God. We're underwater all of a sudden. <laughs> I knew we shouldn't have stood on this rickety pier. <laughs> My God, there's only one way out. Follow me. Thank God, we're out. <laughs> uh, why, if I wasn't an ex-cop from the Bronx, I'd slap you in irons. If this wasn't the 20th century. <laughs> I just fancy the challenge on the accent. Uh, James Bond with Sean Connery, please. Sure, you... Hey! <laughs> That's right. I come all this way. Perhaps you'd like to make love to my mistress before I have you killed, Mr. Bond. <laughs> First, I'd like to know exactly why <laughs> you want the monster. 
All right, Mr. Bond, I'll tell you Sorry, what. Sorry, I just set fire to my fingers. <laughs> Indiana Jones. My God, rock! <laughs> You're some god. I've just been squashed flat by an enormous rock coming out of the Loch Ness Monster's butt. <laughs> That was no rock. <laughs> that's that's in there. Let's end on that disgusting thought. Oh, all right, right. Well, well, I could have listened to those all night. And uh, certainly, if we were going to, let's now do a game called. <laughs> let's now do a game called Who's Line. This is for Colin and Ryan. They're going to come down and act out a scene, uh, and all they have to do is to include two lines supplied by members of the studio audience. That's two for you. Two for you. Two written out there. Just bring them out uh, as a, as appropriate. And your scene is a lawyer meeting his client just before a big case, just before a big trial. OK? Where are you going? You did it! Oh, sorry. Oh, you should be a, a little more open-minded, I guess. I just, uh, I don't feel very confident in you. Right, it won't be a problem. Just wash the blood from your hands and we'll get right into the courtroom. <laughs> you know, I don't think I have a chance with this judge. He doesn't like me very much as a lawyer, but I'm going to defend you. Because as a lawyer, I took that oath. Only your chicken impression can save us now. <laughs> He's gonna love it. Oh, that's crazy. Crazy, is it? Maybe if I just throw myself on the mercy of the court. Remember what the good book says. Luke 19, 41. <laughs> Go on, give it a squeeze. <laughs> and the Lord did say, Go on and give it a squeeze. And if it does squeeze good, will not good come out of it? <laughs> You'll have quite a command of the Bible. Look, I think I'm just gonna plead insanity. I think that's the only way you're going to get off in well, this Well, what case. am I going to do? <laughs> I'm insanity. I want you to go up to that judge, look him straight in the eyes and say, Grease me up, I'm getting in. Oh, God. Fourteen points each, uh, and thirty-two to the members of the audience to suggest the line. As we go into a game called Song Styles, I say we. It's in fact going to be Neil Ashdown who's going to make up a song on the spot here about somebody here in the studio audience, uh, with the assistance of Richard Ranch at the piano. Now I'd like uh, a girl or a woman to volunteer to have a song made up about her. Drew. What's your Drew. name? Drew. Drew. Jolly good. Drew. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, have, have you got a job or profession you've got or would like to pretend to have for the evening? <laughs> you said that without moving your lips. <laughs> or anything else. OK. Drew, Drew the Stripper. They, uh, there you go. A love song to Drew the Stripper. Hey, Saturday night I didn't have a clue where to go. So I picked up my shoes and I toddled down to old Soho. <laughs> I paid my two pounds so I could have a peep. Thought that I'd be there for ten minutes and I would go to sleep. But I saw you through. <laughs> I saw you through. I saw Without any clothes on <laughs> Very bare indeed <laughs> Tassels just here <laughs> And shiny pants I was in a trap <laughs> Oh, won't you dance with me I'll dance with you My true <laughs> Well done, Neil. Well done, Richard. Well done, Drew. And well done, Drew's ex-friend who suggested stripper. <laughs>